So I'm going to leave you with this song. Um, yeah, I've, got to put, I've got to put on a little costume for this. This is the one you want, isn't it? Do you want this? Okay, right. It's an insect song. I think I did well getting it over the stomach. Now, uh, are they straight? Are they straight? Oh, good. I just don't want to stand here looking like an idiot. That's all. <laughs> now, uh, now uh, I always get to this point in my show and think, ah, oh, you know, there's so much I could, I could talk all night, but I'm too expensive, of course. <laughs> um, my parents waited till I was 14 before they told me that I was born by caesarean section. <laughs> and um, I remember thinking, oh, that's why for all these years, whenever I've left the house, I've gone out through the front window. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, because I took that detour right from the start, I've ended up with a terrible sense of direction. And one weekend before we, my wife and I moved to Yakandanda, I was there one weekend on my own looking at a property. And, you know, as luck would have it, I, I'm in the main street having a coffee, get talking to this tall 25 year old blonde, you know, with beautiful makeup and long red fingernails, lovely dress. And uh, he said he was from Yak. And I said, <laughs> he said, uh, you look a bit lost. And I said, oh, I am lost. I said, I need to get to Allen's flat. Do you know where that is? He said, oh yeah. I said, well, how do you get to Alan's flat? He said, are you walking or driving? I said, what's the quickest way there? He said, are you walking or driving? He said, I said, I'm driving. He said, well, that's the quickest way and off he went. <laughs> so um, I got in the car and I was confronted with the most annoying insect in the whole world and that's a fly that gets in your car and you can't get it out. Imagine if someone just walked in now. <laughs> And you're just dead quiet, you know. <laughs> I'm a happy little fly in the roadside bin. Car door open, I let me in. Walk on the windscreen, my friend's outside. You start up the car and I'm ready for the ride. I buzz around your face and I feel like a king. I've heard a lot of stories about this sort of thing. I'm a petrol head fly, feeling pretty high. Don't want to live and not give this a try. See the world go by, I'm as happy as pie. I'm a cool sly guy, I'm a petrol head fly. <laughs> Window wide open and the air pass through. You flap your hand at me and I think bugger you. So I fly up the back and I sit for a while. I make a rude gesture and I give cheeky smile. You shift in your seat and you say a naughty word. But I can't help being a professional turd. I'm a petrol head fly, feeling pretty high. Don't want to live and not give this a try. See the world go by, I'm as happy as pie. I'm a cool sly guy, I'm a petrol head fly. I always seem to stand like I'm constipated when I'm doing it. <laughs> always, without, which reminds me, some time ago I was doing a crossword and there was a nine letter word in it beginning with N and finishing with N that meant constipation. I thought, what the hell is that word? I filled in the rest of the crossword, found out what it was. <laughs> oh, and by the way, <laughs> never visit a website called constipation.com. Okay, just, just won't let you log out. <laughs> it's just like, um, oh, yeah, I, uh, uh, I, I can't wait to see the new movie about constipation. It's 
but if it's not out yet. <laughs> All right, okay, yeah. Shouldn't have gone for the third one. Right. Well, I'm back on the dash, but it won't be for long. The window is a-tugging and the current is strong. The vent is blowing with a burning heat and I'm hanging on tight with me six little feet. My legs are stretched out as far as they'll go. Then whisht out the window with an... Ah, no! You can wave goodbye to the petrol head fly. He whizzed through the air with puzzle in his eye. Semi-trailer coming, splat, he die. And that is the end of the petrol head fly. Big hand for the band. Thanks, folks. Good on you. Appreciate it. Thank you.